Dakota, are you sure this is what they need? I mean, they have such low self-esteem that's going to make them anxious. And wouldn't waking up in our basement like this, waking up in a completely different environment make them even, you know, more anxious? That's got to be the last thing they need, right? Oh, it's okay, Dallas. Just trust me. I've seen their browsing history. It's full of videos like your yandere loves that you're lazy, or yandere vampire can only drink your blood, or hot yandere singles in your area. It's all yandere's all the time. They love yandere's. This isn't the last thing they need. It's the first thing. The two of us will be great for building their self-confidence. They have been asleep for a while. Should we wake them up? They still look so sleepy though. Oh, they're not sleepy, just tired. There's a difference. Oh, speak of the devil. Hey there, did you have a good nap? I hope you did. Do you recognize the two of us? I'm Dakota, and this is Dallas. We're the girls who sent you about a thousand text messages each hitting on you. <laughs> I admit maybe we overdid it just a little bit. We probably should have stopped at a hundred or so each. It wasn't our proudest moment. I don't know. I was pretty proud of it. Not now, Dallas. You're not helping. Anyway, do you know why you're here? Well, actually, scratch that question. It's pretty obvious. You're here because we kidnapped you. What? No, we're not here to ransom you. Why would we ever sell you? You're worth more than all the money in the world. And for the record, what you said is not true. People would definitely be willing to pay for your ransom. I mean, Dallas, how much would you pay for their ransom if they were ransomed to you? Well, that depends. How much is the bank willing to let me borrow? Also, how secure are banks' anti-aged measures? <laughs> See, you are worth so much. You're worth a king's ransom. You are precious, precious, precious. You were too precious for us to tie up even. We could never risk giving those lovely wrists of yours rope burn. Though you look a little too tired to be going anywhere anyway. So it doesn't exactly seem necessary. No offense. You actually look great. Especially when you are sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dallas and I, we respect you, but we haven't exactly been the most respecting of your privacy. That's why we had the cameras in your room. And the recording devices. Oh, right. Oh, can't forget the recording devices. That's actually how this whole thing started. You see, Dallas and I would often listen to you while we were eating breakfast or doing chores or falling asleep. We would listen to you all the time, basically. Right. We would always be listening in on you and whatever you were doing. It is honestly one of our favorite pastimes. But since we were always listening to you, there was a certain pattern to your words that we couldn't help but notice. We noticed you were always putting yourself down. You were always saying things like, I am useless, I am trash, I can't do anything, which is not true. You are not useless, and if you can't do anything, then how can you give Dakota and me so much happiness in our lives? Hmm? Checkmate. And it's due to that lack of self-esteem that we kidnapped you here today. And really, I wouldn't even call it kidnapping since you aren't even tied up. You can leave whenever you want. Well, actually, no, you can't leave right now. We do need to talk to you first. But you can leave in a little bit. So it's more like this is a temporary kidnapping. Yeah, this isn't a real kidnapping. It's only temporary, so it doesn't count. What Dakota is trying to say is that we care about you. We notice that you aren't treasuring yourself the way you deserve to be treasured. And since Dakota and I both love you very, very much, so much so that we made a dating simulator about you, it's only natural that we brought you here to give you the support that you need. Right. 
I don't know if you read all the text messages we sent you. Well, I'm sure there's no way you did. There were over 2,000 of them, but... If you did, you'd see that some of the messages were inviting you just to talk. Because we wanted to discuss this with you, what we're discussing right now. The discussion of how you need to properly value yourself. Take your room, for instance. It's not the neatest place. Now, don't be too harsh on yourself. What you are going through right now is rough. We can tell. Because we're always watching you. Right, because we are always watching you. Affectionately, I might add. But because you are going through such a rough time right now, it's having some negative effects on you. One of which is that you might find it hard to keep your room clean. But don't worry, this rough time you are going through is just temporary. And Dakota and Hai are here to help you get through it. So, why don't we start small? Even baby steps are still a step forward and that's a big deal. For starters, why don't we clean up your room? With the three of us, it will get done in no time. And the act of getting everything all neat can really be good for your mental and emotional health. It can make you feel like you are taking control of your life, which you are. And it's no problem for Dakota and me to help with cleaning up your room. In fact, it's only fair. I mean, we practically live there half the time. Since we like to sneak in when you aren't around and roll around in your blanket. And cleaning your room aside, we need to do something about that constant self-insulting you do. Now, as embarrassing as this is for me to say, you are our wholesome cinnamon bun so we can't tolerate any disrespect toward you. You know we love you. I mean, we spent so much money on burner phones to get around you blocking our numbers. We'd only spend all that money for someone we love. And since we love you so much, we are very protective of your honor. So when someone insults you, well, what do you think we do to them? I will give you a hint. It's highly illegal. Uh-huh, that's correct. We do highly illegal things to people who insult you. Because it is so wrong for you to be insulted. And that includes when you insult yourself. So don't call yourself useless. Don't call yourself a piece of trash. Whenever those self-hating thoughts pop up in the back of your head, don't internalize them. You stab those thoughts in the pancreas. You stomp on those thoughts while they're on the floor. Burn gasoline over the graves of those thoughts. Send threats to anyone who dares to go to the funerals of those thoughts. Dakota, I think we get the picture. <clears throat> so we do. Whenever some of those negative thoughts come up, it would be healthy to address them. Whenever you feel like there is nothing good about yourself, why don't you tell yourself something positive about yourself? I'm sure you must have some wonderful traits. I mean, we know you do. Since we stalk you and worship the very ground you walk on. But this is about you. Why don't you think hard about something you can love about yourself? Please, there's plenty of things that are good about you. Just off the top of my head, you have got great taste, don't you? By loving Yandere's, I don't know anyone more cultured than you. And that love, that glorious angelic love, that's another wonderful thing about you. It's the cutest thing Dakota and I have ever heard. And believe me, we've heard a lot of cute things. After all, we specifically watch kitten meowing compilations sometimes. <laughs> so cute. Yep, but your love is the cutest thing we have ever heard. It's cuter than the sound of baby bird chirping. It's cuter than the bleating of baby lambs. It even sounds cuter than that time Dakota did their best Nico impression. Cat puns and everything. Uh, you promised you wouldn't tell them. Sorry Dakota, right now emotionally supporting them is more important than your comfort. I might even show them the video. I hope the video was at least taken at a good angle. Oh, it was. Anyway, back to the point I was trying to make. You are cultured. Your love is cuter than a baby deer convention. 
There are so many good things about you that you would do good to notice. You could just use some outside help with opening your eyes. Fortunately for you, we are outside help. And as part of that help, we've developed this little PowerPoint slideshow that can sort of act as a blueprint for what direction you might want to take with your life moving forward. It's not set in stone or anything. It's all just a suggestion. We want to help you, not control you. Well, we do want to control you actually. That way you could never leave us. You would be ours forever. But controlling you wouldn't necessarily be the best for your emotional health. So we are putting a lid on that little desire of ours. Right. We're trying not to be too controlling. But obviously we aren't perfect. I mean, we did kidnap you after all. We make mistakes. But it's okay, because whenever we make mistakes, we do make sure to properly punish ourselves. We always like to keep watch over you to make sure you're safe, every second of the day. So when one of us sleeps, the other takes watch. We don't always switch shift perfectly though. Sometimes one of us falls asleep when we shouldn't and then there are periods of time where neither of us is watching you, where neither of us are making sure you are safe. But whenever something like that happens, we make sure not to eat anything for the day to remind us that we need to be more dutiful to you. <gasps> you want us to stop punishing ourselves? But you don't exactly take proper care of yourself either. There are moments when you commit self-sabotage. Tell you what, we will stop being so hard on ourselves if you will stop being so hard on yourself. Yeah. We'll take care of ourselves if you'll take care of yourself too. So, what do you say? Is it a deal? Then it's a deal. <laughs>